What's, a, what's gonna happen in five years to you guys? We don't know. Five years. We could have never guessed five years ago that we would be here. We we know that we just finished a really good record, and, and we're hoping it does well. You know, um, five years will be the year two thousand. Actually, that I, I know I, that I'm gonna party like, like it's nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't come to party, hey, don't bother knocking on my door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully, uh, I'd love the band to be together in five years and still making music. I, I think we will be. Yeah, I think so too. Hark, is that ratty song? Or gross IA? But, you know, these are girls. <laughs> Gortex. Oh, well, that's quite all right. These are boys. Mr. Gortex, my great father. See, it's all fit. <laughs> they won't all wear them. Mr. Gortex. Barbie la la Say it again, Chewbacca. <laughs> Oh, can it, Chewie? Laugh it up, Fuzzball. <laughs> Look at these silly looking goofs. How you doing? <laughs> Nick Page here on drums. <laughs> wonder if I should get one of those nose guards. Tyler, you look too excellent. Do I? This thing hanging down on my face doesn't look. No, it does. That's the best part of the look. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Edwardson. Yeah, see, we're busting the first. Hey, just go over and pat that dog there. That dog has one less eye than me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's been an emergency. I'll save the ship. Hey, there he goes. All right. Great <laughs> she came back. But I can't save my hands. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Take her up to Monto, Monto, Monto. Take her up to Monto, Langaroo. Do you? You heard a bunch of us turn to Georgie Yellow Pasta. He took his button, lost her up the floor of Eagle Land. He first put on his ball and then he buttoned up his trousers and he fits the fur to growl. She has done this before. Hi! Hi! Good naked ladies, we came to London for the pizza. We're staying for the burgers. The lights are on, nobody's home. My elevator is on the top. Now playing with the whole leg, I lost my marble. I'm super short and alone, but I'm pulling up to the back. Half of the cuckoo chance that I'm never ever coming back. I'm just crazy. success or if it's if it's just the traveling life but you're never home you gotta like figure out a system of keeping in touch with being home or feeling like you're home you know living in a bus with 12 sweaty men I've always felt at home with 12 sweaty men that's true so I, success hasn't changed that I love the movie so I'm just trying to base my life on it remember with Jack Klugman yeah and 12 that? sweaty men the trial yeah it was a trial like 12 it was like but it took place in a steam room yeah um, Ed, you got a baby on the way. How's that going? Uh, it's going great. Uh, my wife is uh, due in November, and so that's, you know, it's a huge thing that I'm excited about. It's a little hard to be away on the road right now, and, uh, you know, knowing that she's, uh, her belly is getting larger. But it was excellent when we, we just swung through Toronto for a couple of days, and I could feel the baby kicking and stuff. And, it was really cool. It was fun. I swung uh, through Toronto for a couple of days, and I also uh, felt a baby kicking inside of me. <laughs> Guys, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I think fans of, of, you know, fans of Bare Naked Ladies are, are fans of the music. We, we got so successful in, in Canada when, when Gordon came out that, that we were kind of like, uh, it was beyond the music for a while. We were a fad and, and we were, you know, uh, hip at the time for everyone to be into. Yes, and so people were, were into us for that reason, but there are also just a lot of just plain fans up there as well. Give us the first pictures with our new camera. Yay! Jim, zoom it in. I'm going to get out of focus. You don't focus, it focuses itself. Okay, see you, Ed. All right, see you.
see you, Jim. I got a new effects rack. Uh, I don't know if you like it, <laughs> but uh, I got to get a road case for this because it makes my, it makes the guitar sound great. Oh, that's great, Ed. It's got just the right amount of EQ for me. Mm -hmm. I can take I can take each string on six channels, and uh, it just really allows me to separate the sound. <laughs> I feel a lot better about my guitar sound. It's good. It's good to feel good, Ed. <laughs> it's been a slice of organic pizza. Okay, what, what we've got? What do we got here? We've got the we've makings. got the, the makings of a Jim Cregan sandwich. Yes. Now here, you know, your standard sardines and tomato sauce. You know what? A bit of an exotic treat, a it cheap was, treat. It was two for a buck. Two that's why. Buck. That's why we bought. Robert and I picked okay. those up. And I, you know, not bad. I like a sardine occasionally. Tomato sauce, extra treat. Your, your regular white pony tail sliced bread. You know, you remember it from when you were a kid. It was all you ate. And. Uh, a cooking onion. <laughs> a cooking onion. I know that, Tim. A raw cooking onion. I think you should slice an onion, uh, a, a tomato. What's this called? A farmer? Uh, <laughs> a Swedish meatball! <laughs> Here we are, we're gonna, we're gonna record it. My first time like maneuver. Oh. <laughs> you all right, Jim? <laughs> Just need a little time. <laughs> well, sometimes you can get, uh, you know, you can get some bad feelings when you're eating uh, sardines in tomato with cooking onion and white bread. Dempsters, mind you. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah, exactly like that. How, how are you focusing? I'm Maybe trying. Beautiful. That's a good looking sandwich. Hello. Hello, Jim. How you feeling, Jamie? Coming down with something? No, I'm just all just, down. Just <laughs> I'm down with something. Thank you. Thank you. So this is only a three-hour tour, right? At least. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Cregan. Three-hour tour, Ah, uh, no. Look how he loves it. Let's count. One. Nope. Uh, two. I'm <laughs> all right, thanks. Seven! <laughs> Jim's got seven layers on. Nice. Seven. I don't have Yeah, but I don't I even have any skin. skin. What? I'm going to tear you apart. I'm going to rip you alive. Jim, you're always the guy who gets right in the f***ing lens of the camera. Because I'm going to tear you apart. Let's do it. I got it now. We've been conscious of not slotting ourselves into a particular thing. We do. Bare Naked Ladies is not a political band. Bare Naked Ladies is not a funny band. Bare Naked Ladies is not a, a serious again. band. You know, um, we've been conscious of letting whatever we feel come out, and we're we're funny guys who have serious thoughts. We're you know, we're we're multifaceted people, and we just let that come out in the music. I think. Yeah. I mean, more than anything else, uh, you know, we've never tried to capture any or, or target any kind of audience. I think we've always just done what we do. The only people we've ever targeted are people that we think are like us, I think. And that doesn't mean come from the same kind of backgrounds or even like the same kind of music, but just have some sense of humor or mentality or something that's similar to us. Yeah. I, I once, I once um, came home pretty late at night and this old guy across the street was sitting on his porch and said, 
call the police, call the police. And I didn't know what was wrong. I thought, you know, is he hurt or what? I, I think he was just like drunk or something like that. But anyway, he's just saying, call the police. So I go inside and I call 911. I said, look, there's this old guy across the street, got a really thick accent, can't tell what he's saying. But he said, call the police. I think this is like some kind of emergency. I don't know if he's hurt or if he just can't get into the house or something. Uh, and they said, well, can we get your address and your phone number and what's your name? I said, Steve Page. Said, You're not Steve Page from Bare Naked Ladies, are you? I said, yeah. He goes, hey, how's it going? I said, fine, but this is 911. Aren't you like saying an emergency, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, cool. Well, that was cool talking to you, man. All right. Like, that was 911. What are you trying to say? Are you saying that 911 is perhaps a little bit of a joke? Well, I'm not? saying it's there, hey, there's some degree of humor. <laughs> get up, get up. <laughs> Get a shot of the uh, go get a shot of whatever you want. Like a... yeah. I'm sure this is a view that's been captured many times. It's a good view, though, still, but you know. You can't lose. No, you can't. I mean, just the idea. You can see the whole skyline of the city. You can see everything except for the water, which you can then see through the window in the studio itself. I always, I stand out here and I think, all these windows, and there's no one looking at me. There's no one looking at me out of these, any of these windows. And if they are, they're not waving. What do we got over here, Ty? We got uh, some caribou sausage. Got some uh, smoked char. Frozen smoked char, I might add. Hello? Hello? <laughs> What's the guy's name from the Muppets? Ustin Borden. No, no, the magnificent guy with his uh, boomerang fish. No, but I'm you know the guy I mean, don't you? No, I don't. <coughs> Hello and welcome to Science Experimentation in the North. I'm your host, Bunsen Honeydew, and I'm about to shock the living daylights out of myself. Follow me. Getting prepared here. Building up a nice electrical charge. Now, ordinarily, you know, you're in a clothing store, you touch the, the rack, you get a little bit of a, a spark or a little shock, you go, oh! You do not get the Ontario Science Center. This is what this is. Ah, uh, that was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's good to be in the north where all the heating is electric. Let me get that door for you. <laughs> you see that? That is science. I'm Bunsen Honeydew. Good night. <laughs>
That was great. <laughs> it was good. It was, did you get the did you get the angle there? I got that one. It went a little out of focus after that, though. That's good. Thank God that this stuff is... <laughs> 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 I heard that from here. <laughs> Tell me the guts so we eat and sometimes they're a feed on you Keeping you on your toes all crush up the blue That's what you get when you confuse your stomach with your heart That's what you get when you confuse your stomach with your heart Blood to some blue into red To the box surgeon that it's fair But I turn Back to blue, cause I'm losing you But tell me just growls, now your words mostly vowels And I always forget sometimes why Gratification can cause constipation If organs are left to die That's what you get when you confuse your stomach with your heart That's what you get when you confuse your stomach with your heart I 
so much love the girls. Give me a break. I love to sleep in a lake, but that dessert looks great. All the stuff that I said I was the stuff that I ate. Hearts beat and sink, beat and time, beat and bodies like hers and mine. But I think only one. And look what it's done Cause I've run out of blood And I'm chewing my gut And my gastrointestinal festivals Best of all cardiovascular questions They ask you are less than the answers they give you Like cancer and that's what you get When you confuse your stomach with your heart That's what you get When you confuse your stomach with your heart I know you want to hear some new stuff because, you know, you're probably really sick of the other two records. You've got them memorized. You know who played what, where it was recorded, the dates, the names, the times, everything. You know exactly how long every track is and it's time for a new record. You know who was the director of photography, who was the key grip. That's right. You who know was who, the best who, boy grip. Who did the catering. But at the same time, we know you got to play the hits. You're coming for the hits. But we can try your patience with a few new songs. But only the ones in Korean. The uh, uh, bravest thing I've ever done was to run away and hide. But not this time. Not this time. And the weakest thing I've ever done was to stay right by your side, just like this time. And every time. That I missed you when we were apart I couldn't tell you So I had to lead you on But I didn't mean to break your heart Like my mind is somewhere else That's because it's true Yes, it's true mm -hmm. It's the stupid pride That makes me feel like I have to follow through Even half-assedly Loving you When I guess I should have just come out and told you right from the start You know what you think that I was gonna do? Try to make you love me as much as I love you. How could you be so low? You arrogant man. What do you think that I am? My heart will be fine Just stop wasting my time And now I know that you will be okay And that I got what I want And that's what I 
of you Goodbye And it's not cause I'll be missing you That makes me fall apart It's just that I didn't mean to pray No, I didn't mean to pray no, I didn't mean to pray Your heart We tour all summer, and so we miss a lot of cool things that go on at home. And uh, so what we've done is we brought our very own barbecue chef, Mr. Rob Menegoni. And he'll be cooking up cooking treats up and treasures. Cooking up some stuff for you to eat. Cooking up some stuff for you to eat. He's cooking up some stuff for you to eat. He's cooking up some stuff for you to eat. Rob Menegoni, he's our man. He puts the stuff in a frying pan and he cooks it on up till it tastes real good. And he whips it at the audience like you know he should. I got some stuff for you to eat. We're cooking up some stuff for you to eat. We're cooking up some stuff for you to eat. Let's cook up some stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff. Audience, that's Rob. Rob, that's the audience. Rob will be cooking for the next few songs, and as soon as he's done, we'll let you know, and the treats will start flying. What do we have right now? Chocolate and honey glazed donuts. All right! Barbecue donuts! A delicious Canadian speciality! Brought to you here at the Big Theater, right here in Chicago, tonight, for one night only, Barbecue Donuts! Spell it with a D-O-N-U-T, spell it with a D-O-U-T-H-N-U-N-T. It doesn't matter, it does not matter, it's a donut, no matter how you spell it, it's round, it's got a hole in the middle, and it's barbecued! Raise your hand if you don't have one yet. All you people still don't have one? This is totally excellent. This is like, this is amazing. You are all here. This is sold out. It's sold out really fast. Plus, you're all being recorded for a live XRT broadcast. So, everybody, everybody, just so you make sure you all get on tape, everybody say your name now. Everybody's name is Ja! <laughs> hey, Chucky's here. <laughs> So, so thank you so much for coming. This is totally excellent. It's a Rastafarian kind of thing. Everybody is jaw. Just for the benefit of the listening audiences at home, I know all you people are, are looking at it and you can see what's going on. But for the people at home, we've got a giant aquarium with uh, hammerhead sharks swimming around the stage. How do you guys like the sharks? 